Good, amen. I was so encouraged to see the people that were hungry receiving from God last night. Many were overcome and touched by the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit of God came upon them. There are things that are happening in your life that the only answer that you have can be found in the presence of the Lord. Only the Spirit of God can do a work in your life. Amen? Many years ago when I was preaching in Kenya, on a Sunday night there was a woman that came to the church and she said, I've never been to this church, but last night I was crying out to God because I was dealing with a lot of pain. And the Lord told me to come to this church. Over that, all that sickness left her body. She was instantly healed. People of God, some of you have conditions and things that have been going on in your life that you didn't even know, but before you were even born, those things were sent by hell to destroy your life. But I want to tell you that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he came to set the captives free. Tonight, my Jesus will set you free. If you're dealing with any spiritual problems, there's an anointing that's sent by God to set you free tonight. Amen. And so receive in the name of Jesus. Come expecting to receive from God. And you will never be the same again. All those that came to the Lord with faith received. Amen. And so I want you to set aside everything that, kept you, that keeps you back from receiving freely from the Lord. Set everything aside and say, tonight is my night. I shall receive in the name of Jesus. That whatever heaven has for me, I'm ready. I want it all in the name of Jesus. It's meanings like this that change everything about you. I believe that evangelists are rising up in, this, in, in these meetings. That what God does tonight and what God did yesterday and what God will do tomorrow is just setting a standard for your life because you will see it with your eyes that God will use you just like he uses these great men of God as well. Catch the anointing. Let's not just say it's only about tonight. No, let's say God change me so that you can use me to change others tomorrow amen there's fresh anointings coming upon your life amen hallelujah praise god praise god lift up your hands to heaven father i thank you for the expectation that's in this house with great faith we press in jesus we're not allowing you to pass us by but we will press in and touch your garment I thank you for the miracles that shall take place. I thank you for the salvation that shall take place. I thank you for the deliverance that's been made available. I thank you for the outpouring of your spirit that's here. Lord, we don't want to just have another meeting. But Lord, change our life. Change the lives of those that are watching around the world as well. That the same spirit that is here is the same spirit of God that will flow through the airwaves and touch them wherever they are watching from. And we thank you, Father, for your mighty presence that's here. We receive by faith tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Now give God a loud, thunderous praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God uh, for you. You guys have been so faithful, all the, those that have helped and the worship team and the media ministry and, and those, even the, those that are, are spending the night here making sure they're watching over everything overnight, amen? A lot, of, a lot of great sacrifice, but it's worth it in the kingdom of heaven, amen? Praise God. God is good, amen? Amen. Praise God. Tonight, I want to invite my, my brother, Pastor Amos Dea, to come and share with you the word, amen? Amen. Uh, Pastor Amos, he has an anointing to gather. When he begins to share the word of the Lord and he begins to speak, it seems like people just show, from, show up from the north, south, east, and west. Amen? And I, I love working with him, you know, because he'll gather and then I'll be able to minister. Praise the Lord. How <laughs> I many you know that we are fishermen? God said that he will make us a fisher of men. Amen? And so, church, I want you to greet Put your hands together for the mind of God, Pastor Amos Dea.
Praise the Lord. Turn to your neighbor and tell them you're blessed and highly favored. And the grace of God is upon your life. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these are the days that um, people pray to be part of. <clears throat> Moments like these are times that people desire to be involved. Not just through YouTube or Facebook, but physically. I'm sure we read in times and scriptures where we find Apostle Paul walking and his shadow would heal the sick. Or they'll take an apron or a handkerchief from him and they'll lay it on the sick and the sick will recover. I believe that most of us would have desired to be in those, those meetings. To be able to see Apostle Paul do those breakthroughs and miracles. And then we say, well, it's in scriptures. Apostle Paul did it. What you don't understand is, we have an apostle with us in our generation, in our time today, in Harlingen, Texas. Sometimes, after one has left and gone back to Kenya or to Africa, then we begin to realize, oh, so he came. He came in 2024, so it happened. Sometimes when God is moving, you don't even realize it. You don't even notice it. But I guarantee you by God, yesterday's meeting, tonight's meeting is coming after me. And then of course, tomorrow, tomorrow's meeting. Lives are going to turn around. Lives are going to change. Because God has sent his servant our way. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. I want to just maybe 10 minutes and then we, we pray, take our offerings and pray. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, Bible says from verse number 11. The race, or the Bible says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen to them all. In other words, he who is winning in life, he who is becoming successful in life, who is taking things to a greater height than everybody else, it's not because they are clever. It's not because they are skilled. It's not because they are strong. It's because a time and a chance came their way. And they seized the moment. And things began to change in their lives. So in these three days that we're here today, there's a time and a chance that has come your way. You, may you seize the moment and become what God is saying you must become. Can somebody shout aloud, amen? Yeah. And this is what God is doing in this place. Sometimes you won't understand what's going on. Many times when God is moving, you don't understand. Like the laying on of hands. People are falling down. You don't understand. You think it's the normal laying on of hands. But you don't know that God is doing something supernatural in your life. May I prophesy and declare over your life. After this crusade, you will see greater things manifest in your life. You will see abundance of growth through manifest in your families. Somebody shout a loud amen. Somebody shout another loud amen. So we, we are here under a particular grace men are sent our way carrying certain grace and as you get into that covering that grace locates your life and changes your life even as a minister in this program i'm also believing god that this grace will not leave me the same again so is Pastor Kevin, my brother. So is every minister in this house. So is everyone in this house. I pray for you. May this grace change your life. Receive in the name of Jesus. Now the Bible says in the book of Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2 and verse number 11. Titus chapter 2. Verse number 11 says. For the grace of God. That brings salvation has appeared to all men. Someone say amen. It has appeared. 
but not everyone has come to the knowledge of it. Sometimes God can release something your way, but you don't even know it. So grace for salvation has appeared to all men, but not all men are saved. Can someone say amen? amen. So if grace comes your way to change your life, like the anointing happening here today, you may be here watching what's going on, but not be a partaker of what God is doing. And that which has appeared to all men is here with us tonight. May the spirit of God, may the grace of God give you a lift like you've never seen before in the name of Jesus Christ. It is such meetings that lives turn around. I'm trying to get that into your spirit. There's something I said in your church many times before. I want to say it again. If your mother sat in a meeting like this 50 years ago and received the kind of anointing you're receiving tonight and received the kind of miracles that's happening in this place and they received the kind of grace in this place, you would not be where you are today. No, you wouldn't. Be. But now you're sitting here so that your children will not suffer the way you suffer. Can I get an amen in the house? So that your children cannot go through what you're going through. So may the grace of God in this place transform and change your life. Come on, shout aloud, amen. amen. So there are possibilities in this house for transformations. My prayer tonight is that you connect to this possibility. We are doing it through singing. We are doing it through lifting up our hands. We are doing it through worship. We are doing it through prayer. We are doing it also through Receiving the word of God. But now today, I need you to do it through your giving. I need you to participate in it through your giving. May heaven see you connect through your giving in the name of the Most High God. Someone say amen. amen. So it is possible to be alive, to be available, to be evident in this place. And not have that grace unveiled to you. But when you do what God wants you to do, it unveils to you. For example, when God told Abraham, take your only begotten son to Mount Moriah and sacrifice him to, to me. If Abraham did not do that, he would not have attained the level that he was to attain in life. So whenever God asks you to do something, for example, you made your way here. You've connected. You're here listening to receive. You're connecting. You've received the prophet of God. You're connecting. Now you need to give unto the Lord. Someone say amen. And that grace will connect into your life. Receive in Jesus' name. My final scripture, Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. And verse number 2. Acts chapter 19 and verse number 2. Praise God. Bible says, and he said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? Now, notice here, Acts 19, the Holy Ghost had come many, many chapters earlier and filled the place. Someone say amen. And clothing tongues of fire came upon the head of people and they prayed. And they began to speak in other tongues. The Holy Ghost had already been released. But now in chapter 19 and verse number 2, they're being told, he said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you prayed? So they say to him, we have not as much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost has been released. But these people are saying, we have never even heard of the Holy Spirit. So you can be somewhere... Saying amen, but not a partake of what's going on. But as soon as you become a partake of what's going on, as soon as you connect what's going on, that which is supposed to happen to you begins to find your life. Can someone say amen? amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. So I come to announce to you today, there's a grace coming upon you because you're sitting in this place. We are sitting under the covering of the prophet of God. Say amen. But I need you to connect with him. He's only here tomorrow. And then he's back to Africa again. Well, we're going to Mexico and then to Africa. By the grace of God, he may come back again next time. But now that he's here, tap what's going on. Tap the grace before us. 
Someone say amen. God has sent an Elijah. You can't just sit back and wait for things to pass. You must connect with what God is doing in your life. So I need you to give. So that you can connect and tap onto the grace that is upon this ground here tonight. Receive in the name of Jesus. If you cannot connect, that grace cannot locate your life. Someone say, I receive the grace of God that shifts my life. I believe God has sent his servant that this grace might shift my life to a higher dimension. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Please rise to your feet if you can. All over this house. Do not take it lightly that people are giving. That giving could be your connection to what you're looking for. If Abraham didn't give... Nothing would have happened. If the Shunammite woman didn't give, if the widow of Zarephath, I could go on and on, didn't release, that grace upon that prophet would, not, would never have worked on her life. Someone say amen. amen. I'm collecting but a few sticks. Once I finish collecting, I will go to my house, make a bread, me and my son, so that we can eat and die. If she did not give to that man of God, should have actually died with her son. Because that man came with grace. Someone say amen. To turn the farming into productivity. She did not fight. She did not have to farm to get it. it. It came from the word of the man of God. So I pray for you today. As you give a hundred dollars. Two hundred. Five hundred. One thousand dollars. You are tapping onto the grace. This could be your connection to your breakthrough. Your connection to your miracle. Your connection to the answer to your prayers. Raise your right hand above your head. Say, Father, I connect to this grace in this grounds. In the name of Jesus, with my giving, I connect to the altar. With my giving, I connect to the altar. One more time. With my giving, I connect to this altar. In Jesus' name. And everybody shout aloud, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Now be seated. And go ahead and give. Envelopes are coming around you. Go ahead and give. And bring it to the altar. Cash up. Right. And you can also give at fpg.com. Go ahead and send your finances there. Praise God. Knock it, knock it, hit it. Come on. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Heal my body. Touch my mind. Don't feel everybody.
my body, he touched my mind. And he saved me just in time. Shout hallelujah! You know, once again, Pastor Kevin, I really take this opportunity as a great honor for you to have received the apostle here in Harlingen, Texas. Uh, the schedule that this man of God carries back in Africa is so strong and huge. So for him to have let go of the schedule to have him here, we thank God to have brought him to our midst here today. As I told you, for those who do not know him, this is the foremost genuine apostle we have in Africa. Foremost. Back in Kenya, they call, they call him commander. The whole country, ever, from the president, I'm speaking loud and clear, to the very least, they know him as a commander. Because when he says it, it happens. When he speaks, it comes to pass. Tonight, he's going to declare over your lives. Tonight, he's going to speak words over your families. Now, I need you to, listen, listen. There might not be an earthquake taking place. There might not be trees falling down. There might not be cars rolling on the road. But as you speak those simple words, and you claim it, and you receive them, it shall happen in your life. The grace shall fall upon you. It shall change your home and change your family. Shout Amen. Last time he came, last time he came to our church in London, in England, was 20 years ago. I want you back this year, <laughs> or next year. I want you back. Oh, praise God. So, Hallingen, get ready for tonight's service. It was very powerful last night. It's going to be more powerful. To, and tomorrow, oh, I could not wait for that. Amen. Can you help me receive the man of God? Come on, come on, clap your hands and praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Remain standing. very much. We, we can do tomorrow practice with the musician so that we can agree together is uh, you pray here they pray here. Thank you very much guys. Tomorrow I'll come early so we can do exercise. You may get seated. 
Thank you very much once again for uh, Pastor and uh, Pastor Amos and also the family and, and the members of this ministry. I'm 71 years old. I have been preaching for 33 years and uh, I got my salvation in prison where I was for more than 20 years. I lost my father while I was a very young boy. My mother had nine children, so it was not easy for her to bring us education. And because of that, I lost, I joined the bad group, and that's how I find myself being in prison. I normally repeat that. Sometimes I'll be released on Friday, and Tuesday I was arrested again in a different case. For 18 years, I haven't spent Christmas Day. All 18 years, I was in custody. For three years, I was in custody. We were found with a gun. The case was uh, under hanging act. And uh, I tried to, how I can save myself, I went to look for the wish doctors who can give me charm so that uh, I stop smoking and drinking. And uh, they gave me. But I remember three, two times I was arrested with the, those charm in my mouth. The police will come. I tried to speak, but that charm could not stop police. But one day, I was tired in this life. I was sentenced for two and a half years. And on my way from court to prison, I was praying, God, can you let this car go to accident and I die only me? I prayed that prayer, but couldn't happen. Now, when I was in jail, that was my last time this man of God came preaching about victory in the name of Jesus. I was there reasoning very carefully. All the time he was saying that Jesus will save you tomorrow. Once you accept it here, you will never come back to prison. That is only what I was interested. So I was looking at him. I see what he is giving. By the end of the day, I lift up my hands. We were standing two guys. When I lift my hands, my colleague put my hand down and say, this fellow has confused you. I say, oh, it's okay, it's okay. The preacher went on and preached about Jesus. And he said, there is a person here, God is calling. I don't know him. I lift my hand up. And that time he saw me and he called me. I went there. I had six cigarettes in my pocket. He prayed for me. The last word I remember, the man of God said, God will bless you and God will use you. When I opened my eyes, I found the tears on my face and I gave him those six cigarettes and he said, Jesus has saved you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's now, after one month, I went back to court and I raised up my hand. The magistrate asked, what do you want to say? I said, I want to agree with the charges because I'm born again now. Then the magistrate said, why do you, what, why do you agree with the charges you are with these two years? I said, I have seen Jesus in this one month. Okay, the lady was very good. She sent me two and a half years concurrent. Now I started preaching there for two and a half years in prison. 1992 is where I was released from prison. Remember, I don't have a house. I don't have anybody. I don't know where to sleep. 
and now I'm released. The officer in charge called me and he said, can you promise me that you are not going to come to, back to prison? Then I said, yes, I will not come back to prison. Take my word. When I left prison at the gate, I knelt down facing the, the prison. And I pray, I ask God, never allow me to come back to prison. I went to the Lord now where we are waiting the vehicles. I knelt down again and I pray asking God, my father, don't allow me to come back to prison. Even today, there is a prayer I would like you to pray that my father, don't allow me to mislead myself and don't allow anybody to mislead me. You can, whenever you pray, Remember that one. Lord, don't allow me to mislead myself and don't allow anybody to mislead me. That's how I started. And because I'm not learned, I have no one to give me something to eat. I start now curling goods with a hard cut. I got a bicycle. I was selling mangoes and banana. Even Bishop got saved in my crusade. Here, he is uh, he's my bishop. He was selling things with the hard, with the small, and he have a degree. He came to my crusade, and he accepted Jesus. Now he is a big bishop in a one hour ministry in Nairobi. Now, <clears throat> allow me to speak to you this message, and also, thank you very much for yesterday. Ladies, I called you because I felt in my spirit to pray for you, because the generation now we are, it is becoming too sad. And the person who can help these children, mothers are very close to the children. I felt in my spirit yesterday to call ladies. Because if you see the Bible, ladies are the ones who were used by the devil to bring that fruit when Adam was there. And they are the one. First preacher was a lady. The woman who was there, a prostitute. The one who went to tell people about Jesus. The first person to give Jesus expensive thing, perfume, she was a woman. The first person to see Jesus after resurrection was a woman. In the book of Luke 8, there were some women that Jesus was, has healed them. They were serving Jesus using their own resources. And when Jesus was sending the apostle, he said, go, go there. You will find a colt tied, lose the colt, the donkey, and the mother. So once you pray for the mother, because the child cannot speak, that player will go to the child. Hallelujah. Now, let me try to explain to you something. Life, when people comes before God, there are some things you have to do. I remember 1999, I was fasting for six days. Three days, I could not drink water. And three days, I was drinking very small water. Then on Sunday, Saturday evening, I would go back. I had a very small church with 15 people, 20 people. The first thing I can teach you before, when you come before the Lord, you must confess your sins. Every day, you must, before you pray, you confess your sins because now sins are not only for the physical. There are people who can look at you and they just do whatever in their mind. Those are the, some people can come and talk to you, telling you things that is not right. Then when you listen to them, they bring destruction in your spirit. So when you go to the Father, you pray and confess your sins and the sins of your glad palace. Because you remember, there is a spirit and there is an altar. The Bible says that 
And the Lord blessed Jehoshaphat because he followed the instruction of his father's altar. So my, my teaching tonight, you must worship the Lord, number two. You must worship the Lord and give thanks offering. Sometimes we don't, uh, we don't reach what you want because we don't accept with giving. Thanksgiving, not only because you are there. Thanksgiving is because you are alive today and many people have died. You can walk and many people cannot walk. Thanksgiving, thank you Lord because I'm in the house listening your message. Thanksgiving. Number three, now there you can table your needs before the Lord. You can table your needs before the Lord. I'm here and tonight when I was asking God, my father, what to do here? As Apostle says that in my country, I do crusades. I can stand five hours. I can play the music one hour, one and a half hour. Then I can preach. After preaching, I can do deliverance more than five hours. So I was asking God, what my father can I do here in this city? And God told me, you just go and stand there and tell people to come themselves. Remember, uh, this woman who came with an expensive uh, perfume, I don't know why she's crying. I don't know why she's using all this her hair to clean Jesus. It is not Jesus has requested that. It is from her. She came, she was crying, using her hair, and I believe that is the expensive lady's house to clean your shoes with the hairs. And the owner of the house was there. The owner was complaining. If this man could, is a prophet, he can notice that this woman is a prostitute. But Jesus looked at her, and Jesus said, my, my daughter, because of the great love you have shown me, your sins has been forgiven. There is no way she requested for forgiveness. But because of the great love, because of the great love, Jesus said to her, your sins has been forgiven. I have the anointing. I came with a DVD. I was to show you cancer. People walking with the, with the wheelchair. But now the Lord told me that this woman, there was a woman who was bleeding for 12 years. She made a decision in her heart. Remember, I'm raising upcoming preacher. I'm raising upcoming preacher. I'm raising rich men who can stand with the gospel. When we are old, we want to see men with God, preachers with God and money. Because I can't be the son of God and I don't have the land. No. I can't be son of God and I don't have money. No. It's a compulsory. I must get the two. I can't be the son of God and I'm sick all the time. No. Whenever demons saw Jesus, they will fall down. Even today, whenever sickness they will see you, they will fall down in the name of Jesus Christ. No. Yeah. Malico says that Whenever Jesus was any person with a demon, that person would fall down. I don't agree. Devil cannot defeat the Holy Spirit. If you are connected with the Son of the Living God, you are the commander. My name is Chief General Commander. Sometimes I dress like an army. That's why they called me commander, like an army. I have dressing, I walk like an army, and I tell people I'm the commander, I'm the spiritual director. Spiritual controller. Hallelujah. Yeah. Please prepare yourself today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm asking you to have the anointing. If I'm 70 years old, I have my teeth, no operation, I don't have any sickness. I want to share with you this spirit. Maybe you go 100 years from now. Hallelujah. 
So when people want to see the men and the women of God, they will come and look at you. You will tell them from 2024, the man of God came here and he prayed for me and the grace of the Lord came upon me. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Now, what I'm coming to do is Luke 6, number 43. Somebody say, I'm a winner. Can somebody say, I'll make it? Remember when you are speaking, you have God's spirit in you. Matthew 10, number 20 says that when you speak, your father is in you, will give you the word. John 14, 21 says that when you accept Jesus, the father and the son will come and reveal to you. John 6, 14, 23. When you accept Jesus, the father and the son will come and make a room in you. Make a room in you. John 14, 23. Make a room in you. Matthew 6, 43. <clears throat> a healthy tree does not bear bad fruit, nor does a poor tree bear good fruit. Every tree is known by the fruit it bears. You do not pick figs from thorn bushes or gather grapes from bramble bushes. A good person brings good out of the treasures of good things in his heart. A bad person brings bad out of his treasure of bad things. Thank you. For the mouth speaks what, what? the heart is full. The mouth speaks from the heart. Yes. Now, what I'm coming to do is just to change. Uh, I'm a spiritual controller. Spiritual director is a Jesus said, just go, you'll find a man carrying a water jar. Follow him, and the house he enter, just enter. Spiritual director, he said to Naman, go and watch yourself seven times. Spiritual director, somebody said to Saul, when you leave my house today, you'll find a person who will give you good news. You'll go ahead You'll find some people who will give you blades. You will go and find the apostles, spiritual director, spiritual connector. The work of your prophet is to disconnect you from the evil spirit and to connect you to the light spirit. Hallelujah. My duties in my country, I do deliverance. I remember I prayed for a lady who has miscarried seven times. Seven times I prayed for her, and after four months, she came back to me. She came and said, I feel like I don't have women, what uh, that's what they call. And uh, the, the, she asked me, I don't know whether I am pregnant. Then I called another lady, and she said, Yes, if she has four months now without what. P. You know, here is America. Some words, if you speak, they will take you to court. Now, <laughs> yeah, I was told today, I don't pray for the people, they fall down. If they fall down, they will take you to court. <laughs> Human right. You see. <laughs> I was told that, you know, I was in North Carolina, and uh, the power of God was uh, very high. And one person said that he is going to sue me, because it is not written at the door that people will fall down. <laughs> but I thank God you are not in that, that area. But now, I say this. <clears throat> the spiritual director... The prophet, your prophet, can give you counseling, can remove things from your spirit and give you another. Life is in the spirit of the person. That's why you have to work hard to leave a legacy. You have to work hard to destroy the altars of your glad, glad palace who died for nothing. They never leave a legacy. Now you have to work hard to live strong generation in the name of Jesus. Now, the work, my duties, 
When I prayed for that lady, she came back and she said she is okay. Now she went. That eight months, she was very big. She could come and stand every Sunday. After one Sunday, she come and thank God. I don't feel any pain. Now, even I was suspecting she is carrying three or four children because of how big she is. So when she get one baby, I was so, why? So, I, I get this knowledge that when God will come and bless you, God will, be, will give you mighty things. So the people who have been seeing you with the smaller things and love for you, when they will see you with a big oh, yeah. stomach, yeah. big vehicle, <laughs> hallelujah. Yeah. Like me in my country. I don't drive, my, I don't drive simple car. No, no, no. I live very, uh, I think you see my car. That's one. There's another small one. Very small, only my seat and my wife. Sometimes you open doors, people will go and say, hey, hey this man is a devil. This man is a devil. And God, can, God don't have, only the devil can have vehicles. People are stupid. Hello. <laughs> who is God? Who is the devil? Sometimes when God will bless you, enjoy your life. Hallelujah. Enjoy your life. Dress smart. Dress a good car. Now I normally dress, drive a good car so that the people who seen me when I was selling mangoes, when they see my vehicle, they can say there is God in heaven. Hallelujah. Yeah. My prayer is uh, I change. Tomorrow I want to anoint you because I know what I'm doing. Uh, everybody, the tree, the good tree cannot bear bad fruit. And the bad fruit cannot bear the good fruit. So the first thing to do, it is to change the fruit inside. The good person speaks from the good heart, good things from in his heart. That's why I want to anoint you and prophesy to you. And uh, I will say, you allow me, next year, I will come here to see you. I will come here. Oh, come on. Yeah. I don't guess my God. Elisha said to the woman, next year, you come here with your baby. Now I say, next year, by the grace of God, I'll come to be a witness of what God is doing in you. Hallelujah. Now, what I want you to do is to prepare yourself. To prepare yourself to take off cabin crew, cabin crew, cabin crew, prepare for landing. I want you to cabin crew, prepare to, for takeoff. <laughs> Hello. I, I like this man. He was a short man. Very short man. He tried Zaki. He tried to see Jesus. He couldn't find him. He just tried. And the people cannot give this man a short time to, a short to, to stand in front of them. People of this world cannot give you chance. Zaki went all the way and find a tree. And he went to the top of the tree waiting to see jesus if you went if you are willing to see jesus i promise you today jesus will go with you in your house he will go with you in your house hallelujah jesus is here tonight what you need is to prepare yourself the woman said i will go and once i reach there i will touch his garment. And I know. I'll be healed. Now once you prepare yourself. If I come. I have already prepared myself. I pray Lord. What I'm going to do. And then God said that. Go and teach them. Then let them come. How prepared they are. Deliver my message to their heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Now. The work of your prophet as I said. All things are made from the spiritual world. 
And what you want is connection to that spirit. Satan comes to steal and to block things in the spiritual world. Also, Satan can mix someone with his demons. In the book of Matthew 15, 13, Jesus said, the tree that my father didn't plant will be pulled. Can you read that? Matthew 15 and verse 13. Every plant which my father in heaven did not plant will be pulled up, answered Jesus. Thank you. You know which people, which craft, nowadays is not like the old time. Nowadays, witchcraft, it is on high standard. They just take your picture from, from Facebook and speak about that and return it back to you. Nowadays, not like the 40, 50 years ago. Now, witchcraft are very high. Spiritual demonics are now all over. Especially on the Facebook. is too much now. Be careful. Be careful. Facebook is causing a lot of drama in Christian. So now, Jesus said that that the tree that my father didn't plant shall be rooted out. That is my business now. I come here to tell you you'll make it in the name of Jesus. And whoever, either you are grandfather, grand whatever, whoever say that you are go not going to succeed, I cancel that and I say, receive your miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember, the woman who miscarried seven times, now she has four children, and one children she named my name. One. The first one, she asked her husband, let us call this apostle man. Listen, my, my ministry is to change your inner. Look at this now. Life is in the spirit of the person. There is generation curses. The one you can see in the sons of Jacob. One is blessed, one is cursed. Reuben. Until Moses came and said, Reuben, let now your family not die. There is a family... Uh, in that family, there is death. Death. People don't live 70 years, don't live even 80. They die earlier, accident. There is, there is family of poverty. Life is in the spirit. Everybody in that family, you live fighting, fighting. You save money. After all that, something will happen. All the money has gone. You are waiting to be blessed, but now there's no blessing because spiritually there is something that is causing downfall. My prayer in the name of Jesus, if I'm standing here from nothing to where I am, I prophesy in the name of Jesus, your life will never be the same again. Oh yes, come on. Yeah. The devil, the devil... One used to kick me to prison every 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 day. Nowadays I'm kanyagaling. What do you kanyaga? I'm kicking him, kick, stabbing him. Yeah, that's what I want you to have. I say this now. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at ten number seventeen and twenty. This is what I want you to experience. Because John ten that he says that. I and my father are one. I and my father are one. So you and Jesus are one. Once you believe in the name of Jesus Christ, you become the child of God. You become Jesus living here on earth. I and my father are one. So once you believe in Jesus, demons will fall down. You will heal these people. You will speak in the name of Jesus. If you people want to know what God wants, you will go and pray and tell people what God wants to say. Read that. <coughs> Book of Luke 10 and verse 17. The 72 men came back in great joy. Lord, they said, even the demons obeyed us when we gave them a command in your name. Jesus answered them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Listen, I have given you authority so that you can walk on snakes 
and scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will hurt you. Thank you. The 72 came back to Jesus. That's why he said, I'll come back here and ask pastor, can you give me uh, a breakfast? Breakfast with the people I prayed for here last year. Hello. <laughs> you will have somewhere where you'll give testimony. Amen. And tell me, Pastor Nanga, I am among the people you prayed for. Today, I have this, I have this, and this is $10,000. I'm giving you a part of, uh, hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, our God is rich. We are rich. And Jesus gave them power. Jesus gave them power to cast demons and to heal the sick. And they came back with a joy. And Jesus asked them, uh -huh, what do you see when you go there? They said, when do we touch people in your name? Ah, they were, the demons were running away. And the people were healed. Then Jesus said, don't be happy because of that. But be happy because your names are written in heaven. That's what I want. Hallelujah. If you can use the name of Jesus to heal somebody, use the name of Jesus to bless yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Use the name of Jesus to bless yourself. Amen. Because if you have the power, how can you be, give people power and then you don't have it? Take part of you. You see when I say release, I, when I say receive your miracle, nine, you see now these are four. These are five. Five, eh? This one will remain for me. This four goes to you. Receive your miracle. This one will give mark to me. So if I say all these blessings, everywhere you take four, I take one. I'll go back to Kenya with the blessing. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus gave them power to cast demons out from today in the name of Jesus. Receive that power and cast the demons out. You know your problem. I don't know your problem. I don't know what you are suffering. You know it. Even if I put my hand on you, I don't know. You know inside. You are the one who knows what your problem. So as from today, I give you the permission in the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus to cast demons. Hello? Yes. In the name of the Lord. I speak blessing in my spirit. I prophesy today. I am going to get blessings in the name of Jesus. I bless my spirit. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. You see, uh, yeah. you, you, you speak. You know, because some people, the whole day, people speak against you. Mm, who is this? Uh, uh, he just pretended to us. You know, when people are saying to you, ah, good day, good day, that's not the inside. Oh, no, no, no. Inside is not a good day. It's inside is a bad day. <laughs> but they can smile here. You know, uh, this man called Judas, he came and said, come to Jesus. Oh, Jesus, peace be with you. And <laughs> he said, peace be with you. But he has said there outside, the person I will hug, that is the one. So in the physical world, he's lying. But spiritually, he's doing different. So some people, the, the enemies, the biggest enemies are the people who are close to you. The biggest enemy are the people who are close to you. That's why Jesus said the biggest enemy are the people of those your families. Now... <coughs> Oh, yes. They came back with joy. That's what I want you to have this joy. And because I was told not to lay my hand on people, that now I can break that law. I'll tell the ushers to, to be aware. <laughs> Whatever is stolen or blocked, I command you to get freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. 
You see now, uh, at my little thinking, or my little understanding, spiritual matters uh, come here. You. Sleep here. I'm the commander. Nareni. Sleep like normal sleep. Yeah. When you are sleeping at the night, look at this now. This is the Bible. He have the Bible. I'm talking spiritually. They will come. He have this. Spiritually. They will come and take this. Yeah. Things are done in the spiritual world. Wake up and take what you have. Chukwen here. Go on, Amaji. Just go. <laughs> he was a preacher. Now he have the <laughs> the flag. Flag of America. And the water. In the spirit. Now what I want to do. Eh? Go back and sleep there. Go back and sleep with your water. I am coming. In the name of Jesus. I am coming. Receive your miracle wherever you are. Receive your miracle wherever you are. Amuka chukua mujiza wako. Amuka chukua. Ah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All things done in the spiritual world. Sometimes when you go, you want money. You kneel down in your house. Set aside a small a small corner where you be kneeling down. That is your altar in your house where you can kneel down and write things what you want and put there and put offering. If you go three, four times per month, the end of that, you take that offering to the church, to your priest. Have a record. If you look at my Bible, it has written, some of things here are from 1999. This is my second Bible. My second Bible. I don't go the new one. Because there are so many things here I have written. I have seen them in the spirit. Some, some have not happened. And some already has happened. So sometimes I'll go and read all these things and go to my prayer room and give God offering. Two, you are the vision carrier. Somebody say, I'll make it. 2004, I went to Israel. When I went to Israel, I bought a stone and I told God, Lord, the day you will bless me, I'll build a house of prayer where people will come and worship you there. 2008, 2020, when the corona was very high, I bought a land. You was there. You came there. You came there. You sleep at night? Yeah. He came there. You are the vision carrier. I bought that land, almost 150 acres, and I, burned, I bought mine there, just neighbor, one kilometer of, of mine. So you have two arms. 
One arm is for yourself. One arm is for God. Yeah. You are the vision carrier of God and for yourself. Somebody say, I'll make it. Now, whenever you have half a season, like now I'm giving myself five years, ten years. I'll be 80. Now from 80, uh, I'm going to reduce the crusades. When I'm old, I don't like to disturb my body because I have to sleep. Now I have five, ten years to do crusades every month, two crusades, big crusades. I'm spending a lot of money. So when I'll be old, I'll ask God, my father, remember the work I did when I was young. So do your work now. Knowing that one day any problem comes, you can make appeal using that work. You see now, some of you are blessed by God, but you, don't, you are not connected. Why? I will tell you today and tomorrow. <coughs> Let us go to the house of Isaac. The wife before, when Isaac married this wife, he stayed for 40 years, no children, like Abraham. Isaac prayed for his wife. Men, pray for your wife. Wife, pray for your husband. God was to kill Moses, but the wife circumcised the boy and he touched Moses with that blood and God didn't kill Moses. Now, when Rebecca was pregnant, I want you to show you how you can change things. When Rebecca was pregnant, the angel came and told Rebecca, you have two children, and the younger one is the ruler. But in the custom, the firstborn is one was to be blessed by Isaac. Now, sometimes you must have something in you do things with the condition, with a motive. Jacob, when his brother came, Jacob asked him, if you want me to give you my food, can you swear and give me your right of your firstborn? Then the, the, his brother said, yes. Okay, swear. He swear and he gave the right of the firstborn. Now, when the time came for Isaac, to go. Isaac called his son and said, just go and bring my, uh, an animal, wind animal. Make it in a test that I want, then bring it, I'll bring, speak my blessing to you. Rebecca had that. There are some things uh, in the spirit. Rebecca knew, but Isaac didn't know. Jacob, you must work hard to change spiritual. You can see now. Jacob Rebecca said to, jo to Jacob, just go and bring a, a goat. I will cook and you take this to your father. And now Jacob went and the lady, Rebecca said, dress one of the dressing of your, your brother so you can smell like your brother. So when he came there, Isaac said, like you, you, you are smelling like a Esau. But the sound is not, uh, sound is Jacob. No, my father, I'm a sow. Huh? You are a sow. Why God didn't tell Jacob, you are lying? Why? God remained silent. Because Jacob has paid the price. It's okay. Because Jacob has already paid the price. God remained silent. Because Isaac knew that uh, Jacob, no, Esau is the one who is going to inherit. But in God, God knew that Jacob is the one who will be inherit. But now, because you have to do them spiritually, that's why Jacob gave to Esau, he took the name. Esau remained with the empty name. There are some people who have empty name because spiritually everything was taken. This time around, you are going to grab it and take it back to you in the name of Jesus. 
do things intentionally. Jacob did that. And his mother told him again, bring the goat. Then Jacob said, my father will curse me. Jacob, eh, eh, Rebecca said, let that curse come to me. So now, God did not say that this is not a, a, a sow. God remained because already Jacob has paid the price. And from the womb, Jacob was the person to be the top. But now, there are some things in the spirit. You have to do them physically so that you can change. Uh, look at this now. What will we give the man of God to tell us? What will we give the man of God to tell us the missing donkey? Then he said, I don't have anything. The, the servant said that I have small coins. We will go and give him. That's why the kingdom of David and the kingdom of Esau is different. Because uh, this we call Saul. Because Saul didn't pay the price. He never paid the price. But David served Saul all those years. David was playing the music. David was working as a, as a soldier for Saul. But Saul have never, nowhere, he worshipped God. Nowhere he gave sacrifice. One day he tried to give sacrifice and he did it wrong. You see now, when you want to do things, look at me. My mother has nine children. Four are died. I'm number five. My father died early. My father died early. He never reached my ears. Sometimes work hard spiritually. Destroy those altars. Hallelujah. Now, my first, our first brother died with the crashes like my father. The second one, my three brothers, they married and their woman went, they go there. My two brothers died earlier and left their wife. Now I'm number five. I lost my wife. When I married this lady, 16 times she ran away. Hello. One day, I had this knowledge. I took her picture and her t-shirt. I went to the prayer room. I keep it there. Because now I know that they want me to have two altars. One, like my brothers, to marry and the wife went away. Two, they want me to have uh, death. Because one death already is there. So now I took her T-shirt and, uh, and, uh, and a picture. I went to my prayer room and I table there. I asked my father. I lost my wife. And I prayed, you ask, tell me to marry. Now I married this lady. Now I'm in dist destruction. Help me, Lord. I cancel every old altars in the name of Jesus. I cancel them now. After three days, I took that picture to the safe, to my safe, where I put my title deeds, and I lock. I said, in the name of Jesus, she is my property. Before God, three days, she gave me a call. She had one child. She gave me a call. I went and picked her. She has five children now. Even one time. She has never gone even one time. Hallelujah. There are some things you have to do spiritually. You change them in the spirit. You break that altar. Look at your family. How people are. Because you are in the kingdom of God. But to be in the kingdom of God, if you are not serious, you will end with nothing. There are some areas God wants you to act. God wants you to act. Not God. Not the anointing. It is you. Because any action you do, it has a spirit. Hallelujah. 
So I'm telling you that uh, she has five children. We live in a good peace. I go with her wherever I go, crusades. Uh, wherever I go, any crusade I go, any I go. Because you know I'm 70 years. Sometimes the flight will be announced that I don't know. <laughs> Hello. She is educated. I'm not learned. So she can tell me the flight. The coming flight is us. Now let us go. Hallelujah. So there are some things you have to change them spiritually. Like Jacob did to change the blessing from a sow to him. Some of the names you have. Some of the name they call you were not genuine. Every name has a reason. Thank you very much. Now I'm saying this because I'm preparing for tomorrow to bring you this wonderful connection. Uh, <coughs> the Lord told me, ask, ask the people what they want. I'll be with you. One, salvation. Two, healing. Three, deliverance. Four, to get the Holy Spirit. Five, the good news about my kingdom. This is what God told me. Because God wants you to be the witness. John 4, 18, 32, 39. This woman left her water jar. I want you to prepare yourself now. And she went and tell people, come and see. Come and see. The man who told me everything. This is, all, this is what God wants. This is what God wants. God wants to come and live in you. Any word you speak is a spirit. And people came. When they came, they just looked at themselves. And they say, now, we believe, not because of this woman, but we have seen ourselves. The message I'm giving you today, I heard it from the Lord today. The Lord is telling me that, just go and ask them, what do you want? Those of healing, those of spiritual communication, those who want the spirit, that's what God told me. Yeah? You are seated there yesterday. Is you? Is you? Come. Come, two of you. Come. Oh, Jesus. The other one now. Touch. Touch. I saw you. You are the mother of many. God is giving you this so that you will stand on the bondage of ladies. They have some wounds that they can't tell. They are, they are passing a difficult life. And when I was in that prayer, the Lord asked me to come and speak this to you. Because he wants you to reach many spirits. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Oh, may the Lord bless you. Your husband is very busy. Sometimes you are alone. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Take it. The anointing is agreement between you and the prophet, if you are prepared in your heart, I have paid the, the price from Kenya to here. Now it is you. Open your heart. The Lord is coming now. Jesus. Oh. Rakashama. Lantanana. My mother. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Touch this lady. Touch. 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 You 
Your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. No more. Receive your freedom. You are among this God is going to use. You are among those God is going to use in the city to bring this revival. In the homes, men are so desperate because no one is standing with them. God is planting that to you. Oh, yes, my Lord. Take it. 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 <laughs> if you have any need you want, it is you and God. I can't tell you everything. It is you and God. I'm just to connect you. My brother, be strong. Millions of people are waiting for you. Millions of people are waiting for you. Oh, Rikama, Rindala Kashaka, Ora Kashapata. Yes. Let the grace of God come upon you. Lord, touch them now. Touch them now, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Where's the man of keyboard? Keyboard guy. Keyboard guy, are you around? Hallelujah. You have any need you want? Can you come here? Any you want? Hallelujah. The grace of God is coming now. Come in close. Jesus. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty, mighty, Rikasha Mababa. Oh yes, thank you, Jesus. Touch your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. In the name of the Lord. Shakata shaka. Shakata shaka. Shakata shaka. Shakata shaka. Shakata shaka. Shakata shaka. Shakata mama. Analaba shakata. 
la kataka ina la keshika ina la 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 le kasha la basha Receive it now. I say receive it now. Oh Jesus, touch your people. Jesus. 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 Ole ma 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 Hallelujah 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 Oh ya ba 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 ba
Come on, raise your hands wherever you are. Praise the Lord. I'll begin to thank God for what has happened tonight. Come on. Just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For what has happened tonight. Praise the Lord. 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 We find the final prayer. Come from your seat. Come to the altar. Come to the altar. Come to the altar. Come to the altar. Pastor Kim. From the back. Everybody from the back. Come to the altar. Let's find the final prayer. stand here to confirm to you there is a great and a mighty move of God that has taken place in your life. Bodies have been healed. Families have been healed. Marriages has been healed. Finances has been healed. The power of God has touched your lives. Glory to Jesus. My brother is going to take the microphone shortly. And it's going to have you come and receive Christ. But before he does that, I want you to believe what has taken place. When you, had, when you get home today, open your doors and declare, my house has received the anointing. My house is free. My home is free. Shout hallelujah. And then prepare for tomorrow morning session both the Spanish service and the English service and of course the big crusade in the night the anointing service are we still doing it outside we'll see but for that I need you to raise your hands wherever you're standing everybody all this all over this place 
Lift up your head above your head. Lift up your head. Look, lift, lift up your eyes and look up to the sky. I know that you can see the tent, but I want you to imagine. Just look out there. And from the bottom of your heart, seven times, don't wait for your neighbor, for the miracles you've seen, for the word he has spoken to you, for the answers that's come your way, for the prayer that has been answered tonight. Begin to say, thank you, Lord. Come on. Number one. Number two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, give God the loudest praise. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Just close your eyes for one, more, one last time. There are those that are here that this might be the first time you've heard that Jesus is alive and that he loves you. And you've never made a decision to give your life to God. But today, I want to invite you to come. Be, be a child of God. Be born again and know that your sins are forgiven. God loves you so much. That's why he sent Jesus Christ to make a way that you can return back to him. And if you've never given your life to God, and tonight you want to give your life to Jesus, when I count to three, I want you to lift up your right hand nice and high, and we'll pray together. Maybe you have given your heart to God, but for some reason you've fallen away. And today you want, tonight you want to rededicate your life to God. If that's you, my friends, you want to give your life to Jesus or rededicate your life to God, on the count of three, lift up your right hand, and we'll pray together. One, two, three. Lift it up wherever you're at. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to ask everybody, repeat this prayer out loud with our brothers and sisters. Say this out loud. Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Come inside my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I want to live for you. I thank you for saving my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me your ways. Use me for your glory. I believe that I'm a child of God. My sins are forgiven. And I am saved. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give God praise. Amen. Everyone that said this prayer, and if you've never, if you've never given your life to God and you and you gave your life tonight, and, or you, maybe you've never been water baptized, we're going to have uh, our minister at the water baptism. If you want to be baptized tonight, tonight's your night. Amen. Now, tomorrow night is an anointing night. The anointing is the power of God to get the job done. Amen. And God wants to pour out His Spirit upon you. So that when you leave this tent revival, wherever you go, you're going to destroy the works of the devil through the name of Jesus and release the blessing of God. Some people, they y'all don't understand. When it comes to the kingdom, God is not holding back His Spirit. He has really, already released his spirit, and all he asks of you and me is to receive him. To receive him. Conclusion of this tent revival. Bring your family. Bring your friends. Bring everyone. Amen. Because God is going to do a work in their life as well. Amen. Have you been blessed? Do you thank God for this revival? Praise the Lord. I want to thank you guys for coming on out. Amen. So tonight, we're going to just celebrate as we leave. Amen. Anyone who wants to get baptized, show up at the water baptism. Amen. And I thank God for you. And I thank God for the mighty men of God that minister tonight. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Thank you for... Tuna tazamba, Sasa TV, tazama mbeku.